Hello everyone, welcome back to Country View Acres. So today, uh, Rebecca's home today, and uh, we're gonna move this electric netting out here and give the goats a new place to be able to forage. So currently the goats have had this area here to graze. But what we're gonna do is the grass is getting so tall over here, it's actually starting to put on seed heads. So we're gonna try to move the electric netting around and give them all this new grass on this side so when you buy this electric poultry netting from premier one you can buy it in a kit and it'll come with four of these black posts and it's to help take sags out of the netting it's got a little slot in the top and you can hook the very top of this electric netting in there and you could kind of help support it you know just kind of make it uh, stand upright a little bit better but on the very end posts if you don't tie two end posts together and you have an end post just like this, it wants to sag over and pull. And these, these little black posts don't really work as well to try to support the end. So what we're gonna do today is I bought these last year and I've used these up on the boys area, the boy goats pen. These are fiberglass fence posts. I did buy these from Premier One. These are about six foot tall. I think they're 11 16 diameter. And we're these are a drivable post. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive these in the ground right here next to this corner post where we're going to start our electric netting we'll drive that down into the ground and it's going to be a lot stiffer something to help support our fence and then we'll attach it with a zip tie and it's just going to keep that fence from being pulled over as we try to tighten that fence all the way around and make a nice new enclosure for the goats so that's what we're going to do we're going to be using these drivable posts um, if you order like 10 of them they got a little cap that you can fit over the top that'll come with them and it just, uh, it's a driving cap, I think is what it's called. And that helps you drive these with a fence post driver and not mushroom out the top of them. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, uh, get this fence post in the ground then start moving our electric netting and give the goats a whole new area to be able to graze. We're gonna make this one here a corner post as well. We'll zip tie this one. So these fiberglass posts do have a pointed end to help them drive easier. The cool thing about this is I can leave the zip tie on the post, I can pull this out and I can take it off and then go ahead and slide it back over later and put it back in the ground. So you don't have to go and use a, a new zip tie every time, you can just leave it on there.
All right, so we're gonna move our solar fence charger. We're gonna make sure it's outside of where the animals are because we don't want them to accidentally unhook the positive wire by bumping into it. So I had the dogs do that once. So I know to make sure it's as close as possible to the fence, that way an animal doesn't run in between there. Okay, fence charger's on. Let's put these animals into their new area. Oh, the grass is tall. Okay, it's a little smaller than the last one. It's amazing how much smaller of an area that uh, makes when you have to make all four sides. Because previously we just had to make two of the sides. So, a lot smaller. Now we're going to head up to the boy goats. We're going to try to uh, move their electric netting to at least give them a few extra feet of fresh grass to eat. So let's see what we can do. So you can see inside of where the boy goats are, they graze this down completely to the ground. I mean, there's not enough forage in here for them, for the three of them. Um, so what we've decided to do is we've decided to uh, move the electric netting over here into these pine trees because there's this full grass over here that hadn't been mowed. Hopefully that'll give them a little bit of forage. This may be a mistake. We're hoping that they don't eat on the pine trees. We're hoping they ignore the pine trees and eat the grass. We're just gonna have to give it a day and wait and see. If they end up eating on the pine trees, we're gonna have to move the netting. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot, get this netting moved over here and give them a little bit of fresh grass to eat on. So here's one of these fiberglass posts and you can see you don't have to put them right next to one of these uh, small posts in the electric netting. Um, you can just stick it anywhere in the fence and give it some tension. So the smooth coating on those, they actually pull out fairly easy. So I don't know how well you can see that fence move. Me and Rebecca had to work together as a team. So she kind of wrangled the goats to make sure none of them got out. I had to take the fence loose from this side over here, get it wrapped around the trees and put back. So we just threw a drone up in the air. So I'm not sure how well it filmed. But the funny thing was, as soon as I started the drone up, uh, Chewy, our fainting goat, he completely fainted. And it was, it was a full faint, fell over completely on his side. Um, it was hilarious. It's too bad we didn't get that on film. So as we set this fence up this time, we used those fiberglass posts. And all we did was just kind of shove them in the corners or shove them around the fence to tighten it up and put them in the ground. We didn't use any zip ties whatsoever. And if you look, if you look at this whole fence, I haven't used any of these posts yet. And there's really no need for me to use these. It's really nice and straight. There's no sags in the fence whatsoever. So those uh, fiberglass fence posts, they're just a lot stiffer and they really, uh, they really help hold the fence up pretty good. So this area is not very big, of course, for the goats, but there is a little bit of fresh grass in there for them. Um, the only one brave enough to come out right now is, um, is Luke. The other two were so scared of the drone that they're still in there hiding. But uh, there is a little bit of forage here. We'll keep our eye on it to see whether they eat these pine trees or not. I know that I've heard of goats eating different types of trees. We'll just have to see if this is one of them. We've gave them pine limbs before um, and to see if they would eat the needles and stuff. And we haven't had much luck with them eating the needles, but we kind of heard, what is that, an anti-wormer? It's kind of a natural wormer or something like that, I think for the goats. So they may end up eating on it. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Just wanted to show you guys the moves of moving this netting around. You can see um, 
that really two sections of netting would be way more beneficial. I could get way bigger of an area for these goats and that's something we'll probably end up doing soon. So it's been a couple days now since we've taken this electric netting and we've stretched it around these pine trees so that the boy goats, you know, could graze on this taller grass. And I think I've already got my answer. And the answer is that yes, they are going to eat on these pine trees. So uh, you can see this one right here, the, uh, the lower limbs here have hardly any needles left on them. And this is the hardest hit one out of the four trees that are in the netting right now. So we, want, we can't leave the goats in this area or else they're just gonna destroy these pine trees. So we're gonna have to end up readjusting the netting and going back the other direction. So when we stretched this electric netting in that direction, we only gained about 10 feet of, of fresh grass for the goats to graze. So I think I'm gonna have the same problem if I go south. So if I try to head in this direction back here, I'll probably only be able to get a few feet into this fresh grass and then that's all I'll be able to give them. So I did end up ordering a second uh, or another roll of the electric netting, but this time I ordered the sheep and goat netting. So it is, it is I think about six inches shorter and then the weave of it is not as tight as this. This poultry netting is made to keep in chickens. So the goat netting has a, a few less strands in it and it ends up being about $40 or so cheaper. So I got one of those rolls on order. So hopefully when it arrives, I can really go this direction and give them a lot bigger area to be able to graze because that's exactly what they need. And I need to get them out of those pine trees. So anyway, I think that's it for this, this video. Tried to give the goats more grass, but uh, too bad they're gonna eat my pine trees. So I'm gonna have to try something else. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So the electric netting's moved, so it's not in the pine trees anymore. And they got a little bit more fresh grass on this side.